Hello everyone, all the coaches and course creators. So today I would like to briefly talk about client onboarding. So I'm not sure how you're currently onboarding your clients, but as a coach or course creator, it's very important uh, not just to get the client, but also you have to take care of the client onboarding. So what is client onboarding? According to HubSpot, the client onboarding process is intended to establish a customer relationship that's long-lasting and mutually beneficial for both the company and the client. This process is used to introduce new clients to your company, products and services. So to me personally, I think the client onboarding is actually um, get the client familiar with your way of working with them. So how are you going to um, go through the process, um, how you're going to work with them. So it's all included in the client onboarding process. So how do you currently onboard your clients? There are a couple of ways to do that. So the most simplest way is just to use a Google form. So you can name it as like new client onboarding form or new client intake form. It doesn't really matter. So as you can see, you can ask the email name, your the company name, and then the contact emails and the contact number. Also, you can ask for the social media as like handle. So basically the onboarding form, I would say there are two parts. You can send onboarding form before you work with them so when they schedule let's say a strategy call with you or like a free uh, or coffee chat with you you can ask them to fill out the form so that you can have a basic information of what they do um, how are they currently tracking um, what are they struggling with at the moment or you can actually send the form to them um, after you sign them up. But obviously, probably the questions um, will be slightly different. So you want to know uh, what they have tried and not succeed. And you want to um, see what they've been doing and doing really well. So um, you will have more like an in-depth um, questions after uh, you sign them up. Probably you'll mention about um, the income they're earning at the moment uh, so it's more in depth and then the next one a lot of people actually use Airtable so again Airtable you can actually create a form like you can ask for name email and the good thing about um, Airtable is you can actually do like a drop down menu you can get uh, like get people to choose and then once they filled out the form, it can automatically populate it to a grid format within our table. So this needs to be um, set up like, you know, a, a bit of sort of setup. Uh, it's not complicated, but if you're using a table and also you're happy with Google form, you can actually use a Zapier to zap a Google form into the our table. So if people fill out a form, let's say on Google, um, just use Sapia and it will automatically populate it to a table. And then that's another one, ClickUp. So I personally uh, mostly use ClickUp for internal project communication with my team and also contractors. So as a sample here, um, this is more like a website development. So I actually put like um, the briefing document here, login, um, you know, um, details, of the bios and all that like details information and then i can share with the contractor i can share with my team member so um this is more for internal however i know some of my clients they use clickup they love clickup so they will actually share um clickup with a client for example each client will have their own folder um so they will um go into clickup and look at their um their blessing modules or things that they need to follow up, for example. And then recently, I'm actually using Super OK to onboard my coaching clients uh, because for my coaching clients, there are some elements that I want them to go through uh, before our call or uh, just like during our um, 12 weeks together so i will put like a resources there and also document this is um that's just an example but you can see the dashboard um I, I like it because it's like colorful easy to read it's not boring so you can put resources here and you 
can actually put document. So I've got some of the resources that uh, my clients uh, need to go through. So I put in a document and then the action item. So you can actually share quite a bit of information here. If some of the things that are um, repetitive, meaning everybody or every client needs to go through, I can actually create a block. So every time I just copy that block to another client. So this really um, easy to use and I love it so much. Um, so if you want to develop your own tax stack, what does that mean? That means that when you're onboarding your client, there's a lot of system, there's a lot of like platform or software or tools that will be involved. Every coach will have their own different tax stack. Okay. And same as cost creator. So if you want to map your tax stack, I will actually help you to map up your entire stack in just a few hours. Basically, you filled out a simple questionnaire and then we go on a 60 minute Zoom call. I provide you with a checklist and I also offer 30 days of email support to you. So this is only at the moment, um, I'm offering a discount for only $197. So this is the link to book and I will also put in a comment. So if you want to find out your best tax stack that is suitable for your business, that's most efficient. So reach out to me. All right. So I'll speak to you soon. Bye.